What's up, people? In this video, we are going to talk about this right here, anime. Somebody sent me an email, you guys can't see it right now, from Jack Norris. It says, hey man, can you please do a video about anime? I read somewhere that you are a casual anime fan, and maybe talk about how you sold some manga in Japan. Thanks, bro. Keep up the good videos. So first, let's talk about anime, and then let's talk about how I sold actually some hentai manga from Japan to various places, which is kind of an interesting story, I guess. Not really, but... I don't know. I'll tell it anyway. Um, so anime, for those of you who don't know, are is basically Japanese cartoons that come in a variety of different categories and types of stories that they tell. And however, the like overarching theme of any anime, I guess not theme, but like the um, the style is a very kind of detailed story most of the time. It very, basically just like a very good story, very good animation, um, very like well-rounded in terms of the character design. It's it's less like good and evil and more just like well-rounded characters, right? Like actually human people. Kind of like, you know how, um, what's called Game of Thrones? There, there were like actual like characters and, and it wasn't just like good and evil, like good guys versus bad guys. Like everyone was kind of human. Okay, fine. Maybe there were some that were like a little bit more evil, but everybody was very human. Um and it's kind of like that in anime, where like you have good guys, you have bad guys, but you kind of identify with the bad guys and you kind of hate the good guys sometimes a little bit. Anyway, it doesn't make any sense. Um, but Japanese cartoons are fucking awesome. They're super detailed. They're super imaginative. And I mean, when I lived in Japan, like if I had a dollar for every person I met who moved to Japan because he watched a bunch of fucking anime and like just like fell in love with the culture because of that, I would have a lot of dollars. Um, yeah, that was an interesting time. So anyway, for those of you who are like, like, let me tell you this. All right. Let's talk about my, my love of anime, right? It's, it's a casual love. Like this person identified. Um, if I am going to watch something that is for leisure, like, let's say, so basically like I'll, I'll watch, you know, at the end of the day, when I go to bed, I'll watch maybe like an hour's worth of media, whatever it is. Like I used to watch, um, professional Dota games, like streams. I don't watch that anymore. Cause I'm like hooked, like unhooked from the Dota fucking drug. Uh, but now I'll watch anime, right? So I'll watch a couple episodes of whatever, something, anything that strikes my fancy. Um, but it's just very like interesting, just like very detailed stories, very like good animation. It's just interesting. You know, it's not this like cookie cutter American bullshit where everything follows the same plot. Like, oh, here's the good guy. He like fights the bad guy and he gets the girl in the end. Um, sometimes, you know, he doesn't. Sometimes he like falls on his face and like fails and it's unexpected, I guess is really the main appeal to it is that it's unexpected. Plus, I will say this about like the the way that girls are portrayed in anime it's just like there's kind of this joke on the internet where it's like you know i wish anime girls were real because you kind of do wish they were real like not only do they have like perfect proportions it's a fucking cartoon so like obviously it's like drawn by some like horny japanese man um they're like perfect proportions and they're just so like nice and understanding and friendly, like the complete opposite of like what girls are actually like in the real world that you kind of wish that they were real, right? There's this whole thing called, um, waifuism. It's pretty fucked up. If you guys look on, um, it's, they have a subreddit where it's called like, uh, waifu or waifuism, I think, which is where people, people will get into relationships with animated characters. And waifu means like wife, like in Japanese, like if you add the u on the end of it, like, a, like an English word with u, like waifu or husbando for husband, um, it's kind of like the Japanese version of it. Anyway, whatever. So basically these people will get into like actual relationships with animated characters. It's like in their mind, basically, obviously like these animated characters are not real. It's just in their imagination, they're in a relationship with them because they watched a certain anime and they got so like the, the girls in there are so attractive that like you just kind of wish they were real and get into a relationship with them arguably because you don't have really any other options. In fact, when I went to, when I lived in Japan, I would go to this place called Ikebukuro, which is a 
suburb, I guess, of Tokyo that has a lot of anime stores, oh, sorry, manga stores, and just like a lot of like manga paraphernalia. So you go into these gigantic stores, and I remember on one of the floors, this kind of leads into the uh, story about how I sold the hentai, right? So on one of the floors, you have this like giant buildings with like seven floors, right? And I think the second or third floor was hentai. And so for those of you who don't know, I think hentai means like perverted or something in Japanese, but basically it stands for like adult comics, really, or adult uh, animation, okay? So you walk in to this floor, and it's just like, a fucking gigantic library of animated adult comics. It's, it's huge in Japan, right? You've got all kinds of kinks. You've got all kinds of crazy stuff in there. You've got like girls with like huge boobs. You've got like BDSM. You've got Lolly, which is, you know, sorry to like upset any of you people. Um, but in, in Japan, it's legal to buy pornography that depicts adults engaging in sex with younger, you know, minors, basically. So that's, that's legal in Japan. In the United States, it's not legal. Whatever. It's a difference in culture. Um, just touch on that really quick. Like the, the idea in Japan is because it's not real. It's okay to indulge in those fantasies in a comic book and, you know, jerk off at home or whatever. Um, because it's just a comic book, you know what I mean? You're, you're technically not hurting anybody. I think this is just my opinion. Don't fucking judge me or judge me if you want to give a fuck. But like in Japan, I think that's more acceptable because Japanese people are not likely like Japanese culture is very shy. They're not like, as far as I know, the incidence of rape in Japan is virtually non-existent. I should probably fact check that before I make that statement. But, um, I don't think that like, because you put like some comics like that available for purchase and some Japanese people buy them and whatever, get their rocks off to them. I don't think that means they're going to go out and start like raping little kids in America. I think that maybe that should be more controlled because Americans are generally more like emotional and will act on their impulses more. And we have a bigger like problem with rape here. So like, okay, maybe it makes sense for it to be illegal in America. Anyway, that's that. So you have whatever fucking boobies, which is opi. I think that's how I say it. You have opi, you have lolly, you have gay, fucking lesbian, like all kinds of crazy shit, right? Insane stuff, like actually insane stuff, tentacle fucking shit, like it's crazy. So when I was in this store, I was like, oh, I was like, this is awesome. This is so cool. Like I was, I didn't even know what to do with myself. And the best thing about this is that a lot of these books or comics are secondhand, right? So like use your imagination. They're secondhand, but because Japanese people are so meticulous, they're in really good shape, the books, you know? So like they use them like one time or whatever, do their thing and like go sell them secondhand. I don't know what they, what the fucking story is. But um, when I was there, I found a ton and they're all in like, like a plus condition. I found a ton of like really crazy stuff for like a dollar or $2 or something. And I had the idea that I would sell it on eBay. I was like, Oh my God, I can buy this stuff for basically a dollar per comic. I'm sure I can sell these in America to some like crazy perverted people for $10 each. Right. So I had this idea and my, what I wanted to do, because I didn't want to like go look for specific books. I wanted to make it as easy as possible, right? Like you guys know me, I like to simplify things. So I made this ad on eBay and it basically said like, get a random assortment of five hentai books. I got the, like, they had these like fat books, like 200 pages. Um, I was like, you get like, uh, what's it called? Um, you get like a random assortment of five books for, I think it was like $75, right? And I think it was like $75, but free shipping from Japan, which is, I thought it, I thought it was going to make a lot of money. And I ended up selling like all five pretty much right away. But the problem is that I did the calculations wrong and I was like shipping to Germany and I was shipping to the United States and it was fucking like $40 to ship it. So I made instead of, I thought I was gonna make like 40 bucks per sale profit. I ended up making like 10 or 15 or something. And not only that, because it took so, so long to ship and I didn't have a tracking number because you had to like pay extra for the tracking number. I couldn't give my customers a tracking number. So I had, I think two refunds. So I think I lost money on the entire thing or I broke even. Um, but if I were to do it again, I would do it in a much more organized way. And I would have like the specific books for sale. I would jack up the price way more than what I was selling it for. And I would have to find some way to sell it. In fact, 
I wonder if my website is still online. No, I don't think it is. I had a, uh, I made a, um, a funnel because I was really into like funnels, like click funnels at the time. I, it's not up anymore, but uh, hentaiboosterpacks.com. I was going to sell these for like, I had this like whole fucking sales page written and I don't know, I probably whatever. I don't fucking do that anymore. But anyway, that's my experience selling manga in Japan. That is like, that is really good money. If any of you want to go to Japan and you have, um, you want to like do something like that. Another idea that I had to do is or that I thought that I would do is to buy a bunch of these books and go travel around the United States to all of these like anime conventions or cons, I think they're called. And basically you set up, you, you pay like, I don't know, 500 bucks or whatever it is. And you set up a booth and, um, you can sell your shit there. Uh, I didn't really do the math to see how much I would actually make from it. I don't really think it would be that much. Like I'd have to sell the books for like 20 bucks each to have it be worth it. But if you're into anime and you're into manga and you want to move to Japan and you don't have anything else to do while you're in Japan, you need money. I guess it's an option. Um, but I will say that like definitely gives me a new appreciation for Japanese culture. Um, other than just like watching their like crazy ass cartoons. So yeah, that is what I think about anime. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just fun to watch. Like what, what else are you going to watch? You know what I mean? It makes you think it's deep. There's like intelligence to it and you just get to see, like, I don't say you get to see the best of humanity, but the cool thing about anime is that the characters there, you get the feeling that they really believe in something, you know, they're, they're just very passionate about something. They just want to like, they have very pure motives for what they want to do. They want to be the best at something. You know what I mean? They want to be the strongest. They want to get revenge for something. They want to like, they're super in love with this one person. Um, and they just kind of act accordingly. Like, I don't know if Japanese people are just very emotionally intense or if they're the opposite. And this like type of media is just their way of kind of indulging in the fantasy of being allowed to be that emotionally intense. I don't really know. I haven't thought that much about it, but it is super awesome. Some animes that I personally like, um, I like, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z is cool. Haven't seen Dragon Ball Super. Um, I've seen like the first 150 episodes of One Piece, which is pretty, yeah, it's okay. Um, what's, uh, oh, Stein's Gate. Whew, man, that is some crazy shit right there. Uh, Re Zero, like R-E colon Zero, I think is the one with Rem and, and Rom. The, the two twins, the purple hair and the, or the pink hair and the blue hair. Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. Sorry. One more thing about the store in Ikebukuro. They had, uh, so, so like about this waifu stuff, they had, um, there's this thing called a waifu pillow where you get a body pillow, like one of the like big pillows and the pillowcase has a picture of your like anime wife of like your anime character wife and you print it on there and you know, whatever, it's a body pillow, like use your imagination. So anyway, they sold those pillowcases there and you could like make your own pillowcase. It was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, anyway, ReZero. So so any, the reason I say that is uh, a popular waifu is one of the girls from that uh, that like anime. I think it was uh, Rom, Rem, Rem or Rom, something like that. What else is good? Um, right now, what am I watching? I'm watching something on Amazon Prime that is called oh shit i don't remember what it's called it's it's this one where like this old guy and this young teenager like i'll give you the idea of a plot from from just some random one right this old guy and this this old okay so this old guy has cancer and his family hates him and like he just gets treated like shit and he finds out that he has cancer and he has like a month to live right so he's like he just finds out that he has cancer he's got like all these pains family treats him like shit and he finds a dog and he like adopts the dog and he, he gets the news that he has cancer and he starts crying, like just like bawling. And he goes to a park and he's like crying and like hugging the dog. And out of nowhere, a UFO like crashes on top of him and some other guy, uh, some like young high school kid. And the UFO resurrects both of them, but not as like normal humans. They resurrect them using like crazy ass like weaponry so they resurrect them both as like super crazy like robot warriors or something like that but looking like humans so the the old guy like realizes slowly that he's got like all these crazy robot powers 
and he sees it as like a second chance at life and goes out and starts like doing all this stuff for good. Right. And then the other guy, the young guy is kind of like a high school student, a little bit like dark and moody. And he's not really like all about the whole, like, I'm going to use my powers for good. He's a little bit more selfish, um, a little bit more like, uh, just kind of like wants to use his powers for like selfish game. Anyway, I'm like six episodes in. It is fucking crazy shit, dude. Like it is rated R, like straight up, not not for little children, this cartoon. Anyway, it's really cool. But tell me, are you an anime fan? If you are, let me know what should I watch? What What is a good show for me to watch? I kind of like this one on Amazon Prime, but... I would like some recommendations for something else. So if you have a suggestion, let me know. Leave me a comment. Also, do you like anime? Or do you hate anime? If you hate anime, I also want to know. Why do you hate anime? What is wrong with you? No, seriously. Not not what is wrong with you, but like, what what's your... Why, why don't you like it? How is it possible for somebody not to like it? Anyway, let me know. Leave me a comment. Send me an email if you want. Follow me on Instagram. Peace.